My name is Joyce from Pretzel Cosplay and I love to make costumes and also I love to make tutorials about making costumes. Today I'm going to show you how to make this Warbler breastplate for Lithian using five different techniques to make awesome details. So do you want to know how to do this? Then keep watching this video and of course be sure to like and subscribe so you can never miss a video from me again. You can actually download the patterns and ebooks about how I made the full Lithian costume from my website. I will link it down below. Without further ado, let's get into the video! So we're starting with the base of the breastplate. For the base I'm using craft foam. This is a 2mm thick uh, kind of foam that you can find in a lot of craft shops and even in toy stores. And I want it to be a little bit layered. And of course I could put the layers on top of each other with using some glue, but now I'm using double-sided tape. It doesn't really matter what you use as long as you just put the layers on top of each other, but the double-sided tape is really easy and I had it there and it doesn't smell and it's really quick. So that's what I used and it will be covered in Warbla later anyway, so you won't see it anymore. So I'm just layering the pieces and taping them together. And it doesn't have to be very strong because the warbler that will cover it in the end will actually make it very strong. This uh, kind of foam I usually buy it locally, so I will also link where I got it. And mostly I get it at Mink, that's a webshop in the Netherlands that sells a lot of uh, cosplay supplies. But of course I know you're not all local, so I will also add some Amazon links. And please know the Amazon links are affiliate links, so I will make a teeny tiny bit of commission for everything you buy from Amazon when you click those links. But that's really not a lot and it only helps me to keep making cosplays and keep making tutorials for you guys. And you don't pay extra if you buy something through an affiliate link instead of buying it normally on Amazon. So if you want to use them, I would be very happy, but of course you don't have to. And I just continue to add all the layers. Ta -da. And then when I have the base done from the foam, I draw all the pieces on some warbler. In this case I'm using white warbler, it's also called warbler's pearly art. And for every piece of foam I cut a piece of warbler that is slightly bigger around the edges. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover the foam in the warbler. So on the edges it needs to connect. Warbler is a thermoplastic material, which means that if you heat it up, it will become flexible and even sticky, and you can shape it to any shape that you want. And it also sticks to itself, so you don't need any glue when working with Warbler. And to heat it up, I'm using a heat gun that you can just get in the hardware store, and you just need to heat it up until it's about 70 degrees Celsius. Then I put the foam on top of one of the pieces of the Warbler, and I put the other piece on top of that. Because it's still warm, it's still sticky, so the warbler sticks to itself and I need to press it down on the edges, so the sandwich, as we call this, will close. And this will form the base of the breastplate. You could also use all the other types of warbler to do this, but I'm choosing the white warbler because it's very smooth. It has a really small grain, so that means that the result uh, will be very smooth. So it's really easy to create small details with it and a really um, shiny surface in the end. To make the edges more sharp, I heat up the warbler again so it gets soft again. And then I'm using my wooden clay modeling tools to sharpen the edges. I use these tools all the time and I will also link some in the description so you can also find them. Actually in every craft store I think you can find them, but of course I also link some webshops. Then of course we're going to have to cut it out. So I'm cutting it out using a pair of scissors and I just cut it out around the edge, cutting the little excess warbler of it. And I just have to make sure that I don't cut too much off because then the foam will be popping out again and also not not enough 
because then you will get some really ugly edges and we don't want that. So when we have cut the warbler, it's not fully straight on the edges, it can still feel a little bit rough. So what I'm doing, I use a butter knife and I'm just smoothing out the edges while the warbler is still warm. Because when you heat up warbler, it gets soft, so we know that now. <laughs> but when it cools down again, it gets hard again. So if you have a really rough edge and it cools down, it will stay rough. But if you soften it up a little bit, then it will be smooth when it hardens. And that's much nicer when you're actually wearing the costume. Then I'm heating up the whole thing and shaping it around my body because I need to make it fit. Then we're going to make the cups for the breastplate. This is a technique that I learned from Kamui Cosplay. She's really amazing and I always use this technique now. So I'm heating up two pieces of Warbla in a shape of a square and then I'm putting them together so we have a double layer of Warbla. And then we take an acrylic sphere. I use one of 12 centimeters and you ask me all the time so I'm going to link where you can buy it. And I use some Vaseline because I don't want the Warbla to stick to the sphere because then you couldn't take it off anymore. So I'm just rubbing it over it so it is greasy and then heat up the Warbla again and gently stretch the warbla over the sphere so we get a nice round shape for the cups of the breastplate. Warbla can really stretch but if you stretch it too much it can tear so you can get holes and that's why I use a double layer so it's a little bit easier to prevent holes. So then of course I want it to be fully round so I cut off the edges that I don't need anymore. But these edges, we can use them later for sculpting. Just wait, and we will get to that in the video. So you don't have to throw anything of your warbla away. That's really nice about this product. So now I just take it back to the sphere and just stretch it a little bit more so the shape is fully, fully round. And we end up with a breast cup. Yay! Now it needs to cool down, so it gets hard. When it's cooled down, I can check where it needs to go. And then I'm heating up the edge of the breastplate where it needs to be sticked on. And I also heat up a little edge of the cup. Not the whole cup, because then it would deform. And then both pieces are sticky again, and I will just put it right there where I want it. And really press it so it will stick and stay there. And then we have our base shape for the breastplate. And after we also add the other cup, the detailing of the breastplate can begin. So are you ready for some details? In the beginning I promised five ways to make details in your armor. So let's start with technique number one and that's the sandwich method. So in order to use this method for some details, we first need a pattern. So I put some painter's tape on the breastplate cups and with a sharpie I draw the shape of the detail that I want. I want a raised detail that goes over the cup and this is how I want it to look. Then I take the tape off and put it on a piece of paper so I can actually use it as a pattern. I'll cut it out with some scissors. And then do a final check to see if it would actually fit. And if I like the shape, because now I can still change it. But yeah, I like it. And then I'm cutting out two pieces of warbla that are slightly bigger than the pattern. And I cut the exact pattern out of craft foam. You can also use a thicker foam if you want your detail to be thicker. But I'm just using craft foam for a subtle raised detail. Then I'm heating up the warbla again so I can close it around the edges. And to help me with that, I'm using the wooden tools again. Then again, cutting it out with scissors. So I will be left with my detail.
So this is the piece that will be on the breastplate and I heat up the edge of the breastplate where I want to stick it on and I heat up the detail and then I just press it on and the adhesive and the warbler will do its job and stick to itself. And this already makes the cup look more interesting. And the next technique that we're going to talk about, technique number two, is using warblast strips to create details. This technique is really useful if you want to have some lines on your armor and you also want them to be three-dimensional. So you can just use some scraps that you have left over from cutting out the warbler pieces that you sandwiched and then just cut small strips out of it and then heat them up and attach them to the armor pieces. This can also be used to create some interesting shapes, but I like to use it for the edges now. And now it's also time to make the attachments for the straps later, and I'm using some Warblast meshed art for this because it's very strong. And then I just make a loop and add a D-ring to it and attach it to the breastplate. I also have a separate video about this, I will link it down below so you can watch it and maybe put it in the cards. So use it to reinforce the breastplate. Technique number three is using double layers of Warbler to make detail. Another way to create awesome details with Warbler is to use a double layer of Warbler and then sculpt it. I want to add some really cool leaves to the cups of the breastplate. And I want to use this technique for it, so let me show it. First I'm drawing the pattern for the leaves by again adding some painter's tape onto the cups and then sketching on the shape of the leaf. If you want to learn more about detailing with Warbler, then don't forget to check out my Warbler book that I will of course link in the description below. So have you already read my book? Please let me know in the comments. Or maybe you have ideas for new books that I can write? Let me know too, I really want to know what you want to read. Then I cut the pattern out of the paper and I transfer it onto a double layer of Warbler. I'm actually using just Warbler scraps for this, so it's a really good way to recycle your Warbler and don't throw it away. So then I cut out the leaf shape and because it's rather thick now, it's two layers of Warbler, it can be really useful to make some details. So here's the leaf, but it doesn't have some details yet. So now I just draw on lines that I want to emphasize. And I'm just using a pencil, but you can also use a ballpoint or a sharpie, it doesn't matter. Then I'm using a little piece of warbler scraps and I heat it up and stick it onto the leaf so it will form a nice ridge. No, it's not a ridge, right? It's a stem? How it's called? Help me! <laughs> How are these lines called? So I just add some lines. And I add some more and just cut off the warbler when it's enough and stick it on because again warbler sticks to itself so it's amazing it's basically like clay clay that sticks and when it cools down it is hard again you don't need to bake it well if you bake it it would never work don't bake warbler Then I make the lines a little bit more neat by using the wooden tools. And I also pinch the lines to make them a little bit more triangular. So they look a little bit more interesting. It's only missing some texture now. So with another wooden clay modeling tool, I carve some lines in the warbler. And this will really make it look like an actual leaf. It's cool how little things like this can make such a huge difference in your costume, right? Just really tiny details, but in the end, you will actually see it. So, don't take shortcuts. <laughs> Just put a little extra work into it and you will be very proud in the end. Did you try to use some of these techniques already? Let me know, because I really want to know. I can't believe, or actually I don't want to believe, that I'm the only one who likes details so much. So please tell me about your adventures. Okay, now let's heat up both the breastplate and the leaf. And then push it carefully on there. 
right at the spot where I want it. And then to actually adhere it, I need to press it down. Because otherwise it can fall off again. You really need to use enough pressure, because otherwise the warbler can come off later. And then the detail looks really nice. And another way to add details is sculpting with the warbler. Let's see how that works. So of course, for Lefian, I wanted to have a cute Lefian on one of the cups from the breastplate. So again, I drew a pattern with painter's tape and then put it on some paper and cut it out. I checked if it would fit on the space where I wanted to, and it did. And then I also made the pattern for the tail. Lefian has such a funny tail, don't you think? Actually, I think Lefian is my favorite from the evolutions. Uh, what is your favorite evolution? Also Lefian or one of the others? And why? Is it because of the colors or the story behind it? I want to know, let me know in the comments below so we can talk about Eevees. <laughs> so then again, I take a double layer of Warbler and trace the shape of the Eevee. And then I just sketch the little details that I want on it and I'm going to use this as a base for my sculpting. And then I heat up the Warbler so it will be easier to cut. Because when we have a double layer of warbler, it's kind of thick and difficult to cut with a scissor when it's cooled down. And when it's heated up a little bit, it gets softer, so it's much easier to cut it. So now we have our base for the sculpting, and now the sculpting can really begin. So I'm using a little bit of really small warbler leftovers, and I just sculpt a little ball of it that will be the head of Lepian. And I also stretch it out a little bit, so we also have a ear. Then I just sculpt it with my fingers and with the tools until I like the shape. Because this makes it three-dimensional. And I keep heating it up again when the warbler cools down too much, because it needs to be soft for actually sculpting it. And then I really define the shape of the ear with the wooden tool and carve in the little detail lines. So the little ridges around the ear and of course the eye because otherwise it would be a blind Lithium. Look his cute eye. And detailing the shape of the face and the cheeks. This is only the beginning. So now let's continue sculpting. And we also need a three-dimensional butt. Let's make the Eevee butt. <laughs> so I just take some little pieces of scraps of Warbler and put them on the base shape. And with my fingers and the wooden clay modeling tools, I just sculpt it and make it look like a part of the Eevee. I keep saying Eevee, but of course it's Lefian, but it's still, it was an Eevee, so still Eevee inside, yes. And I keep just sculpting it and then adding some little toes, <laughs> that makes them so cute. Little toes! And little tiny bits of warbler scraps I add to make the hairs on his head. And even tinier bits. And with the tools, I just create one piece. I really make it look like how I want it. English is difficult. <laughs> I'm very sorry if I say strange words or strange sentences. I do my best. So I just carve some little hairs. So it actually looks like he has some cute hairs on his face. On his head. And then, let's see, this is how he looks right now. And then I heat up the Eevee again, the Lefian, and I heat up the press plates and then stick them on. And because it's uh, really um, flexible, you can still play a little bit with the shape of the, the creature that you're going to put on it. 
and then use the tools to really stick it on and to add some additional details to it. Leafian. Of course, Leafian also needs a tail. So I'm cutting a strip of Horbla, drawing the tail on it, and heating it up to make it soft. Then I cut out the little triangles to create the actual shape of Leafian's tail. Heat it up again to make it soft and then use the wooden tool to add some lines. Just carve some lines to give it a little bit of texture. And then, of course, I need to add it to the breastplate. So I add it to Leafian's butt and onto the cup around the leaf that I made earlier. And this really finishes off the little Leafian on the cup. On the other half of the breastplate, I actually made an Eevee. So there's both an Eevee and a Leafian on the breastplate to kind of complete the story. Doesn't he look cute? And now let's make some little leaves as details that will go on top of the cups. So again I use the sandwich method to cover some foam and warbler in the shape of a leaf and then I use a wooden tool to carve some lines in it. And then I have these leaves. Then I heat up the breastplate and the leaves and stick them on one after another layering them so it almost looks a little bit like scales scales in the shape of leaves i really like this detail but i promised you one more way of making details so let's do carving in warbla base of the breastplate i wanted to create some wood texture First, as you can see, I added some strips to create some extra layers. And then I heat up the warbler and carve some lines in it so it will look like a wood grain. If you want to do this, make sure that the warbler is soft enough so you can easily carve it without tearing the warbler apart. And just take a look at some drawings or photos of wood and trees so you can see how did this grain actually looks like and then just make your own version. I like to make it a little bit exaggerated, so it also looks like wood from a distance. And then I keep doing this on the whole base of the breastplate to get this nice wood texture. And I also added an Eevee on the other part and some more leaves and then the whole breastplate is fully detailed and ready for primer and paint. I just really love how this turned out and I love wearing this costume. It 
was actually painted later with PVA primer as a primer and then with gold wax, gilding wax from PBU as the gold paint and some metallic green paint for the leaves. I will put a link down below to the paints so you can find them, because I really love them and recommend them. Oh, and there will also be a video about the headpiece later. So that's how I made this really cool breastplate out of white warbler. If you like this, then be sure to subscribe so you can also see the other videos that I made about this costume. And of course also other Warbler videos. Uh, there is a playlist with a lot of Warbler videos that I will link there or there in the cards. We will see. <laughs> and I will also link where you can buy Warbler so you can make something like this yourself. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye!